Hey, so if I've sent you the link to this video, it's because you've called and your mill is fairly new and you're saying that the belt is squeaking and smoking while it's at idle. This video is going to help you get through this. Sorry for the rough editing. I'm just going to try and do it all with a quick few pause edits and then we'll carry on. So first off, take your side cover off on this side. Take your inner throat cover off, which would normally be in this area here, and then expose what's underneath. Right now, you can see that this gap right here is tremendous. That's about an inch and a half. And what this is doing is, as your LT40 engine tilts back and forth, goes side to side, it goes this way to tension, that way to loosen. There's the brake strap, which is engaged right here. And that stops the engine from coming over so that when it hits this in the D-track position, it slows the wheel down so that it doesn't continue to spin. What's happening is they've been setting them a little bit too tight. What we need to do is loosen off these two 916 bolts. Don't take them right off, just loosen them briefly, just enough and we'll make the adjustments from there. So I'm gonna pause, just loosen those off. Don't take them off completely, we'll just barely loosen them and then we'll go from there. Okay, so we've got them loose. Go over here and grab trusty pry bar you can grab whatever you want but essentially now that those bolts are loose you want to come to this side gently lift under to here and just lift up until you see this gap close down to be about a quarter of an inch from the bottom we'll do this real time hopefully it doesn't just slam down Technical difficulties. Pause one second, I'll loosen those bolts off a bit more. Okay, so we'll loose, we'll try this one more time. Okay, so that took both hands, but now you can see that this is collapsed down to about quarter of an inch, three eighths of an inch. Now, that's allowing this motor to rotate over a little bit and allow this belt to be more relaxed underneath so it doesn't drag on the front pulley shiv up top causing the smoke and the squealing and whatnot so then once you've got that done it's just a matter of retightening these two 916 nuts so your brake strap doesn't wander anymore make sure that they're good and snug Then when we, you can already see the engine's already further over, I'll hit the auto clutch. See now she's gonna torque way over. And when it's coming down, it has way more clearance for that belt to not drag on top of your pulley. Hope this helps. <laughs> 